Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Home Head Chef. I'm Chef Tony, and today we're making spinach and sausage stuffed shells. Now this is not your ordinary stuffed shells. It's gonna be loaded with spinach and ricotta cheese with sweet Italian sausage and garlic, and it's gonna be baked inside a creamy garlic Parmesan sauce, not red sauce. So let's get cooking. For the stuffed shell recipe, we are going to need eight ounces of pasta shells, one small onion finely chopped, two cloves of garlic minced, half of a pound of Italian sausage, your choice, hot or mild, we're doing the sweet today, 10 ounces of spinach, you can use frozen, we are going with fresh, of course, salt and pepper, 15 ounces of ricotta cheese, two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, and half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. First things we're gonna do is get our oven preheated to 150 degrees. We're gonna get our pasta going. I have a pot over here boiling for the water. You're gonna wanna season your water before you throw in the pasta. This is the only time you can actually incorporate flavor into your pasta. And we're gonna go in with our shells. Careful, because it does splash. And we're gonna cook these for about seven or eight minutes until slightly firm. Now we're gonna work on the stuffing, the filling. So with a few tablespoons of oil, we're going to saute up our onions. I'm going to want to cook these for about a minute or two. And we're going to go in with the, the sausage. Now we're going to go in with our sausage. I'm going to want to break this up. We're going to want to cook it for about five minutes or so until it's all brown and broken up. Now that's just about brown, we're going to go in with our garlic. We're going to want to cook this for about another minute. You can really start to smell that garlic. And once you do, you're going to add in your spinach. Now if you're using frozen, make sure it's thawed. Just throw it in, mix it up, and set it aside to cool. If you're using fresh, this is going to take a minute to wilt this spinach down. Now it's exactly where we want it. We're going to set this aside to cool down. Our pasta is done just in time. We're going to strain it. Careful we don't burn ourselves. Give that a little shake. We'll set it in here to continue draining. And then we're going to work on the sauce. Now for the sauce we are going to need two cups of heavy cream, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, a third a cup of Parmesan cheese, one clove of garlic and salt and pepper. We're going to go in with our butter and melt that and we're going to saute up our garlic until fragrant. Now in with the garlic, 30 to 40 seconds until you can smell it. Now in with our heavy cream, just like so. Season with salt and pepper. We're going to want to bring this up to a simmer and then we're going to add in the Parmesan cheese. Alright, our sauce is simmering. We're going to go in with the Parmesan cheese. Give this a stir. We're going to want to cook this for about a minute. Just continue to stir slowly so you don't burn it. And we're going to head over and fill up the shells and get them in the oven. To finish off the filling, we have our ricotta cheese. We're going to go in with our parm, one cup or half of our mozzarella cheese, get this mixed up, just like so. Now we're in with our sausage and spinach. Mix up. Get it well incorporated, so that way you get a little bit of all the cheeses and the sausage and the spinach in every shell. And of course, last but not least, hold on, salt and pepper. 
Always season. Mix that up. Now we're going to go into a piping bag, because that's easier for me, to stuff the shells. Now you can definitely do it with the spoon or by hand. Our sauce will thicken up a little bit more as it's in the oven. We're going to splash down a little bit of sauce, spread it around, so that way the shells don't stick to the bottom of the pan. Just like so. Our pan's ready to go, our shells are ready, we got our filling. Let's take and about half a tablespoon of the filling to each. Open side down. Do that again. Just like so. I'm going to finish off the rest and then I'll see you there. Alright, now we're going to hit these with some more sauce. Just like so. I'm going to reserve a little bit for when I'm plating. We're going to top. Are you still filming? I'm going to top this with aluminum foil. We're going to go into the 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. And then we're going to remove the foil, add the cheese, and cook for another 15 minutes or until the cheese is golden brown. Now aren't these beautiful? Now let's plate some of these. Flip them over so we can see the inside. Now aren't those nice? Now let's pan up and get a taste of these. Let's eat these. I'm excited. Look at that cheese pull. Mm. All right, show's over. You don't need to hear about this. No, seriously. They're amazing. This will seriously impress anyone. You can really taste the sausage. It's rich. It's creamy. It's amazing. I'm telling you, you have to make this. Try it. I'm telling you. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this recipe. If so, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thanks for stopping in, guys, and we'll see you next time. Later.